So you can see the water is migrating to the unsealed side and leaving the sealed side completely. Hi, I'm Craig with Granite Show. Today we're going to show you how to seal absolute black granite. First, we're going to apply step one. Rub it in. And we let it dwell till it's half dry. As you can see, the granite is now half dry. It's 50-50. We just take a white terry cloth towel, remove the residue until it's nice and shiny again. Now the granite's dried back to its natural color again. We're going to put on step two. And again, I'm just going to spray this into my hand. Rub it in. And wait for it to half dry again. Now it's half dry. We're going to remove the residue first with a white terry cloth towel and then we're going to use a microfiber towel to get all the residue off. Now we're going to put our third and final step on and again rub it in. Let it half dry and you can just watch it. It's drying instantly. That's the catalyzing effect of the sealers one after the other. And then when it's half dry, like this, we rub it off with the white towel. And we buff it with a microfiber. Now this is the sealed side. This is unsealed. We're going to pull this back. And you can see the difference right there. It's enhanced, it's shinier, and that's still dull. Again, you can see this is the sealed side, this is the unsealed side. This is our absolute black sample that we just sealed. We're going to test its repellency now. And I think you can see which this is our sealed side, this is unsealed, and the water just wants to pool up on the other side. Absolutely no penetration on the sealed side. It doesn't even like the water. Hi, I'm Craig with Granite Shield. Today we're going to show you that we can seal artificial stones, sile stone, Caesar stone, uh, uh, quartz surfaces as they're called. Uh, this is a piece of Caesar stone. It's number 6140 Smoky Ash. So I'm going to turn this over now. And I've taped half of it. So we're going to put our first sealer into it. Again, spraying it into our hand. Rubbing it in. And you can see how it goes dark almost instantly. Even though this product is 98% non-porous, you can see that our sealer will penetrate it very easily, very quickly. And then we just wait for it to half dry, and then we'll buff that off. Okay, now this is starting to streak, which is half drying. I'm going to remove the carrier and the excess off the stone. And then I will 
buff it with a microfiber to remove all residue. And we'll let it dry back to its natural color before we do the next step. Now we're going to apply our second step. Spray it in, rub it in. Wait till it half dries. Now it's half dry, we're going to remove the residue and then use a microfiber to finish it off. And then we're ready for step three. Now we're applying our third and final step, spraying it on, rubbing it in, waiting for it to half dry, which it already is. Buff off the surface, the excess, microfiber, and it's finished. Now we've sealed this half of the Caesar stone, so we're going to remove the tape. And you can see it's just a little bit deeper shine, a little more enhanced. This is the sealed side, this is the unsealed side. Now this is the unsealed side, here's the sealed side of our Caesar stone. We're going to show you the repellency of each side independently. And then right in the middle. You can see the water is migrating to the unsealed side and leaving the sealed side completely. And when you try to wipe this away, the sealed side just leaves and you have some residual hold on the other side. So you can see water runs away from granite shield.